This is your ABC Starter Kit. Everything you need to know about Grey's Anatomy. You are in excellent hands. For starters, Grey's Anatomy is about a group of dedicated young surgeons in training at Seattle Grey's Hospital. I drilled a hole into this guy's skull. Rockstar! And their daily struggle with life, love, and loss. I'm waiting for how this applies to me. Okay, here are the ABCs. Three things you gotta know about Grey's. Look me in the eye and tell me that you're not thinking about a threesome. A, the doctors at Seattle Grace have passionate relationships. This is awkward. Which tends to lead to a lot of passion. All you people ever think about is how to get into somebody's pants. You nasty. And since they won't all make the cut, the competition. I'm gonna win. You bitch! Is extreme. Congratulations. I know I should seem more enthusiastic, but I'm not that big a person. C, this is a medical show after all. Your brother has parasites in his brain. I cleared my schedule. And Seattle Grace has its share of medical marvels. Not nuts just pregnant. Now let's run down the starting lineup, beginning with the residents. Sweet. There's the show's namesake, Meredith Grey. She's brilliant, but... Way more screwed up than you are. Thank you. Her BFF is Christina Yang. You realize this constitutes hugging? Who could use some work on her bedside manner. Shut up. There's the cocky Alex Karev. I am here for the sex if you need it. The idealistic Izzy Stevens. We get to save lives, that's what we do. The lovable George O'Malley. Dependably selfless. And Meredith's eager half-sis, Lexi Gray. Teach me. The second-year intern with eyes on the prize, chief resident Miranda Bailey is tough as nails. Well, I'm not going to smile right now, but I do smile. The staff docs include the dashing Derek Shepard, AKA McDreamy. Here. Making waiting for you. The devilish Mark Sloan, AKA McSteamy. Nice, really nice. And the feisty but insecure Callie Torres. Alone people don't like to hear about the together people, okay? Newcomers include Arizona Robbins. There are women that are lining up for me. I'm hot. And the all business Dr. Owen Hunt. Yep, that's a penile fracture. Keeping them all on track is Richard Weber, the caring chief surgeon. That's why I'm the chief. Now let's map it all out. The elevator at Seattle Grace has got to be one of the world's slowest which allows for a lot of sniffing and kissing and laughing and sometimes even a marriage proposal. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Then we have the... On-call rooms. ...where the doctors catch up on sleep. After you, Dr. Gray. Thank you, Dr. Sloan. But not a lot of sleeping goes on here. People sleeping or... Why do I bother asking? Let's pull out the glossary. Sure, there's your standard medical stuff, like... He's coding. ...which means somebody's dying. But these doctors also have their own kind of language. It all started when Derek was dubbed... McDreamy. ...and it spread like a McVirus. <laughs> I think he's... McYummy. McSteamy. Woohoo! McDreamy was, was doing the McNasty with the McHotty. That McBastard. With as much time as these doctors spend together, you're going to get some interesting relationships. <laughs> you want to stand there and talk metaphors? You want to literally take off your pants? So here's a jump start on the basics. Meredith and Derek have been through it all. If you don't want babies with me and my crappy DNA, just say so. I want your crappy babies. But finally got serious and made time to make a commitment, at least on post-its. This is forever. Now what? Now I kiss the bride. Lexi and Sloan fell hard for each other. I'm sleeping with her. The one with the juice box. But when he opened himself up to more... You brought up moving in together, and I put it off. Lexi stung his pride. I'm moving on. I'm a better woman than you. Meanwhile, Callie fell hard for Arizona. Yay! And Owen Hunt looked to Christina to help heal his wounds from Iraq. I can be a better man with you. And after a number of battles, Christina finally opened her heart. I can't breathe without you. George made a life-changing decision. I joined the Army to be a trauma surgeon. I report for duty tomorrow. You did what? And in her battle with cancer... Mom, I have stage four melanoma. Izzy found the love of her life. No matter what happens, I'll be ready. But just as she and Alex were starting to see a future together... Get a crash cart! Tragedy struck, and there was a horrible accident. It's George! Now, Izzy and George may be standing at death's door. So, there you go. Now you're off to a great start with Grays.